Okay, let's talk about the GWG 2000 Carbon Core Mod Master Triple Sensor Solar Rift Sensor G-Shock watch. I'm gonna give you guys some of my opinion about this watch, the good and also the bad thing as well. First and foremost, it is times better in comparison to the previous generation GWG 1000 at the dimension over here and the dimension for this watch over here. So it is pretty much the same, not a big deal at all, but this one is made out of carbon, so it is times tougher despite looking pretty much the same. The function is also exactly the same, which I'll highlight over here. I'm not going to talk about them because if you guys know how to operate this, you'll know how to operate this thing as well. They are pretty much foolproof, easy to understand, very easy to use. Also thanks to the new silicon guard underneath all five buttons and that makes the whole experience a lot better. Now, current to the next good thing about the watch is the idea itself. And I'm talking about the body. If you look at this watch over here in comparison to the previous generation, instead of just using a single piece bezel to represent how it look like, this one have a six separate bezel pieces one over here over here one over here one over here and one over here and a metal ring as the frame at the front unlike on this guy which look like it have a lot of things but it's only one singular piece bezel and even this does over here didn't serve any purpose other than decoration in this case it actually locked the bezel in place so i like that idea and i also like the direction that they're heading with this just using the same design but break it down to several little parts and makes the watch much more complex really shouts g-shock and you could see the same idea already being applied on the uh, newly released g uh, mrg b5000 where it used only square bezel where i didn't see any potential at all of this but somehow they managed to separate the bezel to 25 different parts that is just insanely uh, genius of them for just be able to do that and i'm hoping for them to apply the same belt perhaps on uh, other G-Shock watch as well in the future. That's uh, one of the first thing I like about the concept. The second thing is the use of material. In this case, of course, carbon. You can see from the back, carbon core guard. But in this casing for the model, it is featuring forged carbon bezel. This one over here and this one over here. Now, since they are able to make this, it shows us that they could make um, any bezel at all from the same material, unlike previously where they are limited to only simple shape like this, you know, just a round shape, tool carbon fabric, cut out, layer them up, that's the most they could do, uh, at least, you know, add in the strap or something like that. Now, they could make an um, intricate, complex bezel shape out of the same material and that is important you know maybe later they could i mean what's stopping them from making this watch out of the same bezel material this is just resin since they could make a complex shape like this they could make the bezel out of carbon as well which i'm sure they'll do you know it don't have to be a weird model just use it on this thing I didn't see any information about this at all, but if you look on this 9 o'clock and the 3 o'clock piece bezel, the, just the texture of it in comparison to the other G-Shock. This is also a carbon core model, GRB200. If you look on the side, this is a one piece resin bezel. If you look at the color, it's pretty flat, simple. If you look on the mod master, you can see it has a bit more pattern on it. And that tells me maybe, this is just my speculation, I cannot find any information on this. Maybe this one over here and two piece bezel over here also made out of carbon instead of the forged carbon, just same carbon that made the casing in the watch. So you could see the casing over here out of carbon and you could see the pattern blends with this side piece, the crown guard for the watch, something that you cannot see on this kind of model. So that tells me perhaps this is also made out of carbon and that changed the game even more. Now they, they didn't have to use chopped up common piece like this which is expensive to manufacture they could just use this concept build another you know say one of this bezel which is thin and slim out of carbon material if you scratch this part over here according to packparts.com you're gonna need to pay a hundred bucks all right just to get this single piece replaced if you scratch another side that's another hundred bucks if you scratch this frame metal ring which obviously easily scratch gonna be around another 150 bucks so that is insanely expensive 
uh, parts to be replaced. I mean, this thing stays at the front. Just even just by putting the watch like that, you're probably gonna end up scratching it over time. So keep that in mind as well, which uh, tells me I'm probably gonna need to change it up to you know third-party cheaper parts. I don't care about how it looks as long as I don't scratch its original parts. That will be uh, saving me a lot of money later in throughout the years. In comparison to the GWG 1000, you only got probably gonna end up paying 100, 200 bucks max to get the entire bezel and band. So that's a good deal for this one. So it's a win for this one, a lose for this one. But overall, for the way it looks, that is just cool. It's just the industrialized concept of this thing is just really nice, and it blends really well all the way to the strap with the new texture pattern on it goes all the way to the side as well you can see it on the band keeper the buckle is the weak point where you could you know, easily break it only uses a single spring bar screw bar to lock the band with this wing structure to hold it between your wrists a lot better and somehow even though both of this uh was made out of negative display down there this one shines not shines i mean it, it is a lot better for day-to-day -day basis right now in a in the studio I'm filming this of course you can see them but for day-to-day -day wear this one is better so it has been improved as well on that part and uh, since we're on the topic on the watch face if you look on the texture on it I love it a lot at certain angles you can see uh, how light shines to highlights all the lines in there that is just so cool and also all the graph bar pattern on it this reminds me of the MRGB 2000 the brand new MRG remember that it also have somewhat similar uh, watch face finishing although that one has a finer design finer pattern but the shape is the same and just knowing that makes the watch even more special and uh, I don't have to talk about the side button that's just so cool I mean they try to make the watch to be as sleek as possible as sleek as a Modmaster Triple Sensor G-Shock possibly can I mean indeed this is more of a collectible a collector uh, purchases you know if you just want a Modmaster Triple Sensor G-Shock just get one of these the function is pretty much the same the price for this thing only goes around 300 bucks in the used market you get the same deal just as tough but if you want something new this is it if you're looking if you haven't owned one yet I would highly recommend you to pick this one instead. It is far more comfortable. I'm not sure about uh, maybe because of the material, because this one is old, this one is new or what, but um, this one feels a bit more comfortable in comparison to this guy. And because it is made out of carbon, it is lightweight and thus helps makes the watch feels much more comfortable. And if you are a collector wearing this, uh, will obviously grabs a lot of attention thanks to the <laughs> flashy metal frame at the top. It does looks a lot more premium in comparison to the this guy over here but then again there's up and down you know the pricing and everything but if you want to buy one of this retail is 99,000 but you don't have to pay that amount of money at all just go to buy japan sponsor for today's video link will be available down in the description box mine over here only cost me like 73,000 japanese yen brand new from tax free shop i'm sure you could pick one up right now it's a much cheaper price there's a lot of campaign promotion they're having and if you use the link below to sign up you'll earn an extra 1,000 yen discount as well so you got to be able to save a lot more than I did and uh, if I were to choose I obviously would go with this one and like I already said I like the idea and I'd like to see more of the future G-Shock coming with these same builds so that oh I have to add up also easier to clean anyway that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for watching see you guys in my next video